Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back with that One Punch Greatness. We got episode 9 and I'm doing a live reaction and then review afterwards. So, let's get right to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got action already. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Madhouse animation already showing up. <laughs> Hell to the fucking yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Is he still alive? Hold up. Hell yeah. Oh, oh! Oh, shit. Damn! Oh, fuck. Does Geno's really have to get his ass beat every episode? Well, not every episode, but still, like, damn, dude. Can he just have his moment for, like, five minutes? I cannot believe Gino's got his ass beat. Damn, he came out of nowhere, ripped his arm off. Moment right up. I'm already expecting some epicness from this episode. Oh shit, I'm not ready. Damn. All right, Gino's. Gino's. Oh man. Better run, assholes. Look at this dude's face. He just regenerated like it was nothing. Oh shit, he's going ape shit. Okay, okay. Ah, kick to the face. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Damn, son. Oh, got his ass. Let's go. And he pulled out the flamethrower. You would think that would work, but it's raining outside, right? Gino's not fucking playing right now, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Damn, son. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, now that I think about it, damn, if Genos is having this much trouble, this dude has to be, like, dragon level at full power. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, fuck. Gino's got fucked up in this battle. Damn! Oh my goodness. Damn! Bruh, this dude is a fucking beast. And it, uh, damn, dude. Fucking shit. Geno's. Oh, shit. Moomin Rider. Oh, shit. Here we go. Oh, damn. This dude is asking for a death wish. This dude better have some secret power. Because the Hero Association does rely on that dude for some reason. I just now noticed that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn. 
Damn. Oh, I thought he ripped his arm off. I was about to... He just hit him like a rag doll. Damn. That dude got heart, man. His face got super ugly again. I guess you could say the uglier his face gets, the better he is, right? Damn, dude. I'm surprised he didn't kill him yet. All oh, the emotional music comes on. Mm. One Punch Man had to get emotional right now. He had to stop the action for a second. Soundtrack. I gotta turn this down real quick. <laughs> Sorry. Like, fuck this shit. Oh, damn. Good. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Saitama. You about to get that ass beat, dude. <laughs> Damn, do you know she got your ass beat? Sight. Like... He's like, I gotta kick this ass. <laughs> Prepare for this ass whooping that's coming. Oh, man. Will he get any bigger and uglier? The world may never know. Mm. Now people are starting to recognize him, okay? But still, it won't change anything. It might change anything if he gets noticed for that defeat. Oh my goodness. Wow. Just let him have his speech, man. Let's do this. So, well, technically an episode of a half of build-up. An episode and a half just to build up this big-ass character. And that was it. From Saitama's perspective, yeah, it's kind of lame. Now that I think of it. <laughs> it's like all this fucking build-up. And here we go. You're late as fuck, Sonic. 
Damn, dude. Props to the Moomin Rider. He has heart. Like, he does get himself in, like, dumb situations, but still. Props. Back to grocery shopping as if nothing ever happened. Now, people gotta give him recognition. That's kind of cool. That's probably how it's gonna be in the future. Probably, like, ten years from now. Fan letters. Damn. <laughs> I've been a huge fan. Oh my goodness. Love letters. He's scared. <laughs> Cares about. Stop. See, that's. A guy with free time. That's true. That's what happens when you're like extremely strong and talented. You come out of nowhere. People don't expect it. So. Ah, oh, here comes a troll. Here we go. As if they weren't scared, like, literally five minutes ago. Dude, what? <laughs> like, Tommy gets the worst luck. Meanwhile, we got this asshole just going around. He got his ass beat, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's a lesson. What do you call people like that? Got too much time on their hands. Look at that Saitama. <laughs> oh, wow. See, that, that's the thing that I hate, is when one rumor becomes another, and then it all gets convoluted into something that's completely stupid and irrelevant. And that's exactly what Saitama is, you know? And look at this asshole. That's what he wants. Damn, Pori Pori. I shouldn't be laughing right now, but damn, these heroes got their asses beat. Saitama like doesn't have a scratch on them. Sometimes it's more that you gotta be, man. Finally gets a thing. I like how Genos always has his back. He's like, yo, I'm gonna kick anybody's ass who talks about you. But of course Saitama like, can kick anybody's ass. Oh, hell yeah. Almost a class B. Let's go. Hmm. 
<笑>いざいやいやいやうん。Why does he have to do an i n Power Genos in every way. Oh shit. He has to take some sort of physical. Hmm. How can he c h e a t on the exam? He did horrible. Exactly, rumors are rumors. You gotta keep it moving. Oh my gosh, this asshole. See, he was trying to promote his damn album or mixtape or whatever, and the Deep Sea King was out there just causing havoc. Send me video of that. He punched a living mess out of him, like. It's ridiculous. Unknown heroes. Damn, that sucks! Oh, man. Oh, hell no. Run, 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 run. <laughs> like, run for your asses. Damn. Time to go back to prison. That sucks. Congratulations. This episode feels so long. Moment、rider. Oh shit, did he get promoted too? He could run, I mean, easily. Hmm. True, true. <laughs> Why do they rely on you so much? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's weird. I can say I got more respect for you after this. Oh shit! <laughs> I was like, damn. 
I sure got more respect for you, though, after this episode. I can say that. Do it. Alright. What is going on right now? What the hell? Some random... Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Damn, lady! <laughs> I'm paralleled peril. Well, it seems like a greater enemy is about to come, from the looks of it. Alright. Of course I can't wait till next episode. I hope so. Alright guys, that was One Punch Man Episode 9. That episode was epic as fuck. <laughs> like, uh... I gotta say this, like, even though the Deep Sea King was probably hyped up to the point where you probably thought he would give Saitama some sort of huge battle, it was still kind of epic to the point where, yeah, like, the animation really showed out, and it's cool to see, like, the other heroes get their shine, but the thing I really, 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 really like about this episode was the hype over the Moomin Rider and the fact that he had that speech to pretty much just hype everybody up and Geno's he wouldn't give up even though even though he got his ass beat again you know he put out a pretty awesome battle so it was cool as fuck like that that's the one thing I love to see Geno's in battle because when he's like pulling out the flamethrowers and he's actually just like pulling out the kicks the animation is like top notch and like from the beginning to the end like the fights all the fights in this episode were just like straight up epic so it was kind of cool to see genos do his thing even though he did get beat like props to genos and huge props to the movement rider like obviously that was character development at his finest at first when i thought about the movement rider i thought he was like an, a completely irrelevant character and i was wondering like why does the hero association kind of count on him so much and call him for stuff because he's a c-class so it turns out that the Moomin Rider has more heart than anybody out there. Every hero got their ass beat. And the Moomin Rider just keeps getting up. And he's basically like the fucking Naruto of this series right now. He wouldn't give up. And he's basically like, it doesn't matter if you win. It doesn't matter if I lose. Like, the point is that I'm right here fighting. And, I mean, that's the true mark of a hero right there. And he, like... Like, this episode, it was good on action and animation, and it was epic as fuck, don't get me wrong, but the lessons in this episode were far greater, like, especially on Moomin Rider and Saitama's part. With the Moomin Rider, he shows that, hey, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stay committed, and I'm a hero, and this is who I am, so I'm not gonna run away, and that gave people hope to the point, to the, uh, point where they started cheering for him. And another lesson was when Saitama pretty much, uh, took... Like, pretty much, he took the heat for the Deep Sea King, and he basically said, oh, yeah, everybody weakened him for me, and then I just knocked him out, and that's just how it was. And that was kind of cool, because Saitama, he could have easily took in the shine and took in all, and gained a lot of pride from that, but instead, he kind of simmered himself down and just took all the heat. And basically, the trolls started coming out and saying that he's a fraud. So it's kind of cool how Saitama, you know, he is like a true hero to the point where you know he would take in a lot of stuff just for the uh the reputation of another hero so that was pretty cool but anyway deep sea king got his ass beat by saitama in typical one punch fashion that one punch was just epic as shit like to the point where you could see like the fucking ripples on the other side of the fucking city when he punched the shit out of dc king i mean that shit was just fucking crazy like and when I think about it, like, when the Deep Sea King gets all this fucking hype to the point where he just gets his ass beat, like, it's hilarious, but, you know, it, it just continually shows how epic Saitama was. But I feel like the Deep Sea King arc, it pretty much just represented all the other heroes and what they're about. 
and pretty much boosted their development, especially the Moomin Rider. Like, I, I respect him even more because he has more heart. And Genos, I'm sure he did get some development and learned a lesson from Saitama once again. And, you know, it was just extremely epic. So even if Saitama one punches the hell out of him, it was still, like, epic as fuck. So <laughs> I like the way it went down, but uh, I didn't like the fact that some people were still calling Saitama a fraud. But that's the path that he chose. So, yeah. Another part of the episode is when, basically, Saitama, he's asked to be promoted to B-Class. And I, the higher-ups, they were basically saying that, you know, Saitama, he could be a fraud and he could not be, but we're going to worry about that in the future because, like, everybody is basically looking at Saitama right now and they're calling him something. Like, he's at the point right now where he's getting, like, straight recognition and when everybody sees that, you know, they all have their different opinions and even the uh, the IMAG mask or whatever his name is, the, the dude that's always promoting his albums, he's looking at him and he's like, yeah, okay, this dude, he could be a fraud, but ultimately it seems like he has some potential, especially uh, since they have a video of pretty much him knocking out Deep Sea King. So Saitama is definitely going to get some credit. So yeah, congratulations. Saitama's a B-class right now. And uh, at the end, him and Moomin Rider eat some fucking noodles. New friendships, right? So, yeah, it, it was a pretty damn epic episode. Animation always on point. Storyline was very, very good. We got some progression. Uh, like, the Deep Sea King was a very, very good villain. I liked them, even though Saitama is just completely OP as fuck. That's why the show is called One Punch Man. And mysterious stuff happening next episode. Like, apparently there's going to be, like, a huger threat than the Deep Sea King. So... I mean, it'll be kind of cool, like, seeing as we got, like, three episodes left, it'll be kind of cool to see an enemy that can actually give Saitama a run for his money. Like, if he one-punches the enemy, then he doesn't actually die the first time. That'll be kind of cool to actually give him some sort of fight. So, what would happen? Will we get, like, a god-level threat before the season is over? I mean, I don't know. But, yeah, extremely epic stuff happening in this episode. Extremely more epic stuff happening next episode, and... One Punch Greatness, it continues, but uh, yeah, a lot of good stuff. If you guys like this video, hit me up with a like. If you guys have anything to say, hit me up in the comment section below. And of course, if you guys want to subscribe, you guys know what to do. And i catch you guys around later for that next One Punch episode by reaction and review. Alright guys, peace. Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm back with that One Punch Greatness. We got episode 9 and I'm doing a live reaction and then review afterwards. So, let's get right to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got action already. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Madhouse animation already showing up. <laughs> Hell to the fucking yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is he still alive? Hold up. Hell yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, fuck. Does Genos really have to get his ass beat every episode? Well, not every episode, but still, like... Damn, dude. Can he just have his moment for like five minutes? <laughs> mm. Wow. I cannot believe. Gino's got his. Ass be damn. He came out of nowhere, ripped his arm off. Moment right up. I'm already expecting some epicness from this episode. Oh shit, I'm not ready. Damn. All right, Genos. Genos. Oh man. Better run, assholes. Look at this dude's face. 
He just regenerated like it was nothing. Oh shit, he's going ape shit. Okay, okay. Ah, kick to the face. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Damn, son. Oh. Got his ass. <laughs> Let's go. And he pulled out the flamethrower. You would think that would work, but it's raining outside, right? Gino's not fucking playing right now, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Damn, son. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah. Uh, now that I think about it, damn, if Genos is having this much trouble, this dude has to be, like, dragon level at full power. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh, fuck. Genos got fucked up in this battle. Damn! Oh my goodness. Damn! Bruh, this dude is a fucking beast. And it, uh, damn, dude. Fucking shit. Geno's. Oh shit, Moomin Rider. Oh shit. Here we go. Oh damn, this dude is asking for a death wish. This dude better have some secret power. Because the Hero Association does rely on that dude for some reason. I just now noticed that. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Damn. Damn. Oh, I thought he ripped his arm off. I was about to... He just hit him like a rag doll. Damn. That dude got heart, man. His face got super ugly again. I guess you could say the uglier his face gets, the better he is, right? Damn, dude. Forever. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised he didn't kill him yet. Oh, the emotional music comes on. One Punch Man had to get emotional right now. He had to stop the action for a second. Oh. Hey. <laughs> mm. If this is a soundtrack, I gotta turn this down real quick. <laughs> Sorry. Like, fuck this shit. Oh, damn. Good. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Wow. Saitama. You about to get that ass beat, dude. <laughs> Damn, do you know she got your ass beat? Sight. Like, he's like, I gotta kick his ass. <laughs> Prepare for this ass whooping that's coming. Oh, man. Will he get any bigger and uglier? The world may never know. Now people are starting to recognize him, okay? But still, it won't change anything. It might change anything if he gets noticed for that defeat. Oh my goodness. Wow. Let him have his speech, man. Let's do this. Ah, shh. What just happened? <laughs> Damn, dude. <laughs> Two episodes, well, technically an episode of a half of build up. An episode and a half just to build up this big ass character. And that was it. From Saitama's perspective, yeah, it's kind of lame. Now that I think of it, <laughs> it's like all this fucking build up. And here we go. You're late as fuck, Sonic. Damn, dude. Well, I can say I got more respect for you after this. Oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, damn. I sure got more respect for you, though, after this episode. I can say that. Do it. Alright. What is going on right now? What the hell? Some random... Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Oh, shit. Damn, lady. <laughs> I'm paralleled peril. Well, it seems like a greater enemy is about to come from the looks of it. Alright. Of course I can't wait till next episode. I hope so. Alright, guys. That was One Punch Man Episode 9. That episode was epic as fuck. <laughs> like, uh... I gotta say this, like, even though the Deep Sea King was probably hyped up to the point where you probably thought he would give Saitama some sort of huge battle, it was still kind of epic to the point where, yeah, like, the animation really showed out, and it's cool to see, like, the other heroes get their shine, but the thing I really, 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 really like about this episode was the hype over the Moomin Rider and the fact that he had that speech to pretty much just hype everybody up and Geno's he wouldn't give up even though even though he got his ass beat again you know he put out a pretty awesome battle so it was 
cool as fuck. Like that that's the one thing. I love to see Genos in battle because when he's like pulling out the flamethrowers and he's actually just like pulling out the kicks. The animation is like top notch and like from the beginning to the end, like the fights, all the fights in this episode were just like straight up epic. So it was kind of cool to see Genos do his thing, even though he did get beat, like props to Genos and huge props to the Moomin Rider. Like obviously that was character development at his finest. At first, when I thought about the Moomin Rider, I thought he was like an, a completely irrelevant character. And I was wondering, like, why does the Hero Association kind of count on him so much and call him for stuff? Because he's a C-Class. So it turns out that the Moomin Rider has more heart than anybody out there. Every hero got their ass beat. And the Moomin Rider just keeps getting up. And he's basically like the fucking Naruto of this series right now. He wouldn't give up. And he's basically like, it doesn't matter if you win. It doesn't matter if I lose. Like... The point is that I'm right here fighting and I mean that's the true mark of a hero right there and he like like this episode it was good on action and animation and it was epic as fuck don't get me wrong but the lessons in this episode were far greater like especially on Moomin Rider and Saitama's part with the Moomin Rider he shows that hey I'm gonna uh I'm gonna stay committed and I'm a hero and this is who I am so I'm not gonna run away and that gave people hope to the point to the uh point where they started cheering for him and another lesson was when Saitama pretty much uh took like pretty much he took the heat for the deep sea king and he basically said oh yeah everybody weakened him for me and then I just knocked him out and that's just how it was and that was kind of cool because Saitama he could have easily took in the shine and took in all and gained a lot of pride from that but instead he kind of simmered himself down and just took all the heat and basically, the trolls started coming out and saying that he's a fraud. So it's kind of cool how Saitama, you know, he is like a true hero to the point where, you know, he would take in a lot of stuff just for the uh, the reputation of another hero. So that was pretty cool. But anyway, Deep Sea King got his ass beat by Saitama in typical One Punch fashion. That One Punch was just epic as shit, like to the point where you could see like the fucking ripples on the other side of the fucking city when he punched the shit out of DC King. I mean, that shit was just fucking crazy. Like, and when I think about it, like, when the Deep Sea King gets all this fucking hype to the point where he just gets his ass beat, like, it's hilarious, but, you know, it, it just continually shows how epic Saitama was. But I feel like... <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Why does he have to do an interview? Oh. I'm glad they give you a choice. Even though you overpower Genos in every way. Oh shit. He has to take some sort of physical. Hmm. How can he cheat on the exam? He did horrible. Exactly. Rumors are rumors. You gotta keep it moving. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my gosh, this asshole. See, 
he was trying to promote his damn album or mixtape or whatever. And the DC King was out there just causing havoc. Send me video of that. He punched a living mess out of him. Like, it's ridiculous. Unknown heroes. Damn, that sucks. Oh, man. Oh, hell no. Run, 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 run. <laughs> They're like, run for your asses. Damn. Time to go back to prison. That sucks. Congratulations. This episode feels so long. Hmm. Moment Rider. Oh shit, did he get promoted too? He could run, I mean, easily. Hmm. True, true. <laughs> Why do they rely on you so much? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It's weird. Props to the Moomin Rider, he has heart. Like, he does get himself in, like, dumb situations, but still. Props. Back to grocery shopping as if nothing ever happened. Now, people gotta give him recognition. That's kinda cool. That's probably how it's gonna be in the future. Probably, like, ten years from now. Fan letters. Damn. <laughs> I've been a huge fan. Oh my goodness. Love letters. He's scared. <laughs> Cares about. Stop. See, that's a guy with free time. That's true. That's what happens when you're, like, extremely strong and talented and you come out of nowhere. People don't expect it, so. Oh, here comes a troll. Here we go. As if they weren't scared, like, literally five minutes ago. Dude, what? Like, Tommy gets the worst look. Meanwhile, we got this asshole. 
just going around. He got his ass beat, dude. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's a lesson. What do you call people like that? Got too much time on their hands. Look at that Saitama. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> See that that's the thing that I hate is when one rumor becomes another and then it all gets convoluted into something that's completely stupid and irrelevant. And that's exactly what Saitama is, you know. And look at this asshole. That's what he wants. Damn, Pori Pori. I shouldn't be laughing right now, but damn, these heroes got their asses beat. Saitama doesn't have a scratch on them. Sometimes it's more that you gotta be, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. He finally gets a thing. I like how Genos always has his back. He's like, yo, I'm gonna kick anybody's ass who talks about you. But of course, Saitama can kick anybody's ass. Oh, hell yeah. Almost a class B. Let's go.